The El Patron operates out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California, and they have a slew of one-and-a-half-day trips where you'll fish with only 10 anglers on board. Bluefin tuna fishing, yellowtail fishing is outstanding in Southern California, and there's no better way to do it than on the El Patron. 310-832-8304 or visit 22ndstreet.com. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, here in Southern California. Pinch me, because I think I'm dreaming. I mean, fishing is so good here in SoCal. And all the years that I've been fishing in Southern California, and that's about 60 years, I'm telling you right now, this is the best fishing I've ever seen. We have a combination of tropical stuff going on right now with Dorado and Yellowfin starting to push an incredible bluefin tuna and a huge biomass out there on Tanner Bay. Wide open white sea bass up in the Channel Islands. Tremendous local fishing for LA Orange County Bay's boats. Calico bass fishing that is absolutely nutty and great fishing south of the border for our brothers and sisters in Mexico down there in the Ensenada area and even below that, San Quentin and everywhere else. And add to it another Catholic nun today. Not kidding. Sister Evelyn came by and I just said good morning to her. And then sister and I had a long conversation. I got to tell her about some of my time in Mexico and the Catholic missions for a couple of years as well as Costa Rica. So we are beyond blessed today. And you know what time it is, everybody. It is time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friend. Mm. Speaking of blessed, there's nothing better than a really good cup of coffee in the morning. So great to be back with you all again. Hit that like button, share these videos if you have a chance that really helps us a lot when you share with others who haven't heard about Freeman Adventures. We're up to 10,000 plus subscribers all thanks to you so please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget we're on TikTok, Instagram and Facebook, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. It is truly great to be back with you all again. Hey don't forget September pardon me August the 15th getting carried away here. August the 15th we'll be on the horizon out of H&M Landing for a great day and a half trip. And I can't wait for that one. It's gonna be a super great trip with our friend Bill Wilkerson on the horizon out of H&M Landing, day and a half with more and more Dorado and Yellowfin starting to push in and mix in with that bluefin tuna. Things could really get crazy and it could really start to rock and roll here very, very soon. I think that's my friend Valentino. Hey, Valentino. So good to see him, he's a great guy. I get to practice my Espanol with him every single morning. So anyway, back to this incredibly great fishing and our trip on board the Horizon. Great stuff starting to happen with all that tropical stuff starting to push in on. More on that. Man, it has been good. All right, you want to get on that August 15th trip? Call H&M Landing today, 619-222-1144. Tell them you want the August 15th. Friedman Adventures, 1.5 day trip. I will see you there. I'll be shooting a video on that trip and I can't wait for the variety that our late summer and fall trips normally bring. It can really get to be outstanding. All right, let's jump into it with you all right now. Talk about Ensenada. Down there in Ensenada, we continue to see some of the boys offshore catching that bluefin tuna. They're trolling around with Mad Mac lures. Fish range from 15 pounds to 200 pounds and as usual bluefin tuna are very fickle one day they bite one day they don't one boat gets them one boat doesn't it's just the nature of the beast when you're fishing bluefin tuna but pushing in now is that tropical stuff we're seeing more and more dorado longeros and ensenada keep picking off dorado we've been talking about this for about 10 days but while not everybody gets them there's enough of that stuff around to suggest to me that we're on the verge of that El Nino really taking hold in Southern California and Northern Baja, California. Some yellowfin, and I really expected to see a lot more YFT in here, but a little bit of yellowfin in that mix also. And if all else fails, take a look at the guys from Blackfin Sport Fishing. Lots of big bonita, great barracuda fishing, excellent calico bass fishing going on on the local scene down there in that neck of the woods. I don't have the details, but that is one heck 
of a big mako shark. Let me tell you, caught, it says, at Todos Santos Island, which is just off of Ensenada, Baja, California. That is a mammoth mako shark, huge mako shark. Looks like from the film Jaws or something like that. So a lot of great stuff going on on that side of the border. Let's jump you up to the San Diego area. Let's start with Captain Mike on the Relentless. I've fished the Relentless before, and I absolutely love it. Great stuff going on. The Relentless tried something different, and he came up with a score indicating to us that the El Nino is knocking on our door right now. By that, I mean warm water and warm water species starting to move in. That's not going to chase our bluefin away. That bluefin, that huge biomass, mostly a tanner bank right now, but spread all over the place, will bite even better in the warmer water. Relentless, 20 guys, 48 Dorado. Nice hit there, 21 bluefin, a yellowtail, a yellowfin. And that is indicative of the kind of scores you'll see in the fall here in the San Diego, Northern Baja, and even LA Orange County area. And by that I mean that smorgasbord. Instead of one species, it's four or five species. And that is a glimpse into our future and what I believe is headed our way here shortly. So nice hit, Mikey, on the Relentless. We are loving that. Last night, Spirit of Adventure, several other boats had great nighttime fishing and on the blue pitch. You know, that's when your bigger fish are normally caught. Of course, you are going to be fishing with 300 to 400 gram lures. You know, there's a variety of SK lures. My dog will work really well. Uh, rip rollers, I mean, you name it, it's been working. I don't think it makes all that much difference. In my humble opinion, when they're biting torpedo sinkers, you just gotta get something in front of their nose. So dropping to the appropriate depth is probably the most important thing you can do. That and dropping when the captain says drop because he's up there in the wheelhouse. He's looking at the fish on the sonar and he's telling you drop now. And he's saying that because he can see the fish. So if you get down there fast, you're not playing around, you're not drinking a cup of coffee or doing something like that. And then you drop to the appropriate depth, 400 feet. You've got metered eyes or line or any other kind of line that changes colors every 100 feet. You'll know exactly when you're down to that depth. And that makes all the difference in the world. All right, daytime fishing has been outstanding. Now there's some misses, but there's a lot of limit style fishing. Remember that is two bluefin per rod. Limits is blue, two bluefin per rod. And it's been good. The grade of fish ranges from 10 pounds right on up to 100 pounds most of the time in the daytime. And sometimes bigger than that, some private boaters have had some really big fish. They're flying kites and doing other stuff to get those bites. But man, there's some big stuff rolling around. And you will see the show, whether you catch them or not, you'll see the show. That biomass, as I mentioned to you, is incredible right now. Tremendous areas of fish. and. Some days they bite, some days they don't, but for the most part, it's been good. Circle hooks, number one, number two, circle hooks have been good. Um, sometimes you've got to get down to that lighter fluorocarbon. And I'm talking 25 pounds. A lot of guys want you to stay in that 30, 40 pound range, and I get that. You hook a big fish on 25, you can be in some trouble, but man, you got to get a bite. And if the bite is finicky, drop that down, choose a good hot bait, change that bait regularly. That makes such a big difference. A belly hook bait, has been working well. Don't know how to belly hook a bait? Talk to a crew member. As I say, those guys are on your side. They want you to succeed. Make a friend when you walk on the boat. Introduce yourself. Tell them that you need a little bit of help and they'll be right at your side helping you out. So keep that all in mind. You can fish 30 to 40 pounds and even heavier than that when the intensity of the bite goes up through the roof. And it's been doing that a lot here recently. Also very effective is those small shiny type jigs like a Daiwa Sakana or a Cold Sniper, 100 to 130, 150 grams have been working well when you roll up on a foam and you toss that right in the middle of that and that also can really bring you some great results. So really good fishing. Now there are boats leaving from LA Orange County Base Landing, San Diego, going out to Tanner Bank. It's about the same distance for everybody and man it has been flat good. Cortez, some guys wander out there, catch all kinds of yellows. I know the Polaris Supreme just got back with limits of bluefin, I think 70 something nice yellowtail out there in that neck of the woods. Uh, the Thunderbird and uh, Freedom, they were both out there looking around and man, it was all show and no go. It's so frustrating 
when that happens. And I gotta say hello to my dear friend, Jaime Valdovinos. He was on the Freedom with the guys from the Sharky Crew, and I love those Sharky Crew. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for all you do here for our channel. Really appreciate it. Jaime said, man, it was all show and no go, but what a show. He said, kind of a similar kind of day on the Thunderbird. They had nine blue fin and two yellow fins. You know? That is just something that happens with blue fin. As we mentioned in the very beginning, those things are so fickle, they will drive you absolutely nuts. What is the Puccini Opera, La Donna e Mobile? Women are fickle. Man. Puccini should have met blue fins. You know? If he thinks women are fickle. Man, what a crazy situation. Some guys getting them and some guys getting the big show. So really, really good stuff. You you know that at some point in time that'll settle and bite again. And there's been several great scores on those same boats here recently also. So continued great fishing going on. I have got to jump to the Channel Islands right now because the bite there is off the hook. It is so good right now. That's the guys from Team 57. Hats off to you boys. So happy you had such a great trip on the new Hustler. Armando de la Torre. Limits of white sea bass. Tremendous fishing up there in that neck of the woods as it just continues to bite full speed. Speaking of de la Torre, in this case, Sam de la Torre, I'll be with him tonight for another edition of Tackle Shop Confessions. Tackle Shop Confessions live tonight. 6 p.m. You can ask Sam any question your little heart desires. So keep that in mind. We'll be joining Sam. Back to that bite in the Channel Islands Endeavor. 24 guys, 72 white sea bass. This is phenomenal. That's what I mean when I say pinch me. I'm dreaming. This is some of the best fishing you've ever seen, I've ever seen in my lifetime. When you've got all of this going on, Dorado Bluefin, you've had a few albacore here and there. You've got tremendous local fishing, which I'll get into in a moment and then limits of white sea bass. It can't get much better than it is. Mirage 22, guys, 66 white sea bass, 29 halibut, three barrett through the Island Fox, 24 halibut. How can it get any better than it is right now? All right, well, it can because, oh, let me just kind of, kind of jump over there. St. Clemente Island, there's some good yellowtail fishing off the hook, calico bass fishing. At Catalina Island, there's a few yellows, a few sea bass, some calico bass, and she said, and whitefish and rockfish. Coronado Islands, down in the Mexico area, uh, we are seeing some pretty decent yellowtail fishing. The Mission Bell from Point Lomas Ford Fishing is just rolling up on the islands right now. As we speak, we'll get a report from Captain Sean Hardigan here today. Hopefully, they're going to get on that fish. That local tuna bite has forced them to go to the Coronado Islands because it's been slow for the full day guys here recently. Um, I don't know what's up with that. I mean, the San Diego, you talk about going for a ride, 50 miles they went the other day. Man, that, that tells me that they'll do anything to catch you fishing. Sometimes they bite, sometimes they don't. San Diego, four bluefin, two on the yellow the grande on a full day trip. These are trips that leave in the morning, come back that very same evening, well, hey, here's that signal again from the Grande. 11 Dorado and a Yellowtail, so you get the idea on that. All right, those are the islands. Now, let's get to the local situation. I've talked about Ensenada, San Diego, probably the best calico bass local fishing we've seen in many, many years as an occasional white sea bass, occasional Yellowtail. It's off the hook, same thing up there around Dana Wharf fishing. Uh, those guys are having incredible fishing up there out of Newport. Great fishing in the daytime for sand and calico bass. Off the hook type fishing. Freelance wide open at night on the twilight trips as this is a throwback to several decades ago when fishing was that good on a regular basis. It has been incredible, let me tell you. And it just keeps going on and on and on. Native Sun yesterday, 24 guys out of 22nd Street landed in San Pedro, California. They have been so hot on the native limits of San Bas, 53 on the Barracuda. And they released a bunch of fish, like hundreds of San Bas and Calico Bass. It's so good right now. Monte Carlo, City of Long Beach, Western Pride, Enterprise. I'm not leaving boats out because they're not catching. It just gets redundant. Great fishing for all of those boys also. So 
tremendous fishing going on. Hey, let's take a moment. Remember Eddie Leland, he's in his battle with cancer. He got out to go fishing the other day, warmed my heart to see it. Keep him in your thoughts in person. Another captain from the LA Orange County area from years ago, Mike Stout. Mike, sending you all my best and you are always in my thoughts and prayers. Had such a great time fishing with you on that legend strip and I hope to see you for the next one. I know you're gonna be there. Keep getting better and keep Mike in your thoughts and prayers also. All right, this local bite is off the hook. Tremendous fishing going on. Remember, and it hasn't really been a problem getting a bite on the sand and calico bass, but if it does become one, drop that pound test down. Fluorocarbon like 12 to 15 pound and you'll be bent all day long, but it really hasn't been a problem. Long Beach for fishing the victory with tremendous fishing yesterday. I mean, over limits of bass. Bass having to be released, there's so many. And barracuda biting the surface iron. It's a dream come true, it truly is as good as you could possibly want it right now. And if that wasn't enough, how about the local surf fishing? There's a bunch of guys that I know down here, and they're not here unless they're biting, and they're fishing the low tide, as you can see today. They cast way out, and they catch these nice spot fin croaker. They dig up sandworms here in the surf, and then they use those to catch spot fin. But the Corvina fishing has been tremendous. Noli Yan Jr. with some great fishing also. He's been all over it. And look at that beautiful Corvina. I don't know how you can beat that. Remember, light line, six pound, use a trout rod, and don't overcast. Those fins are right there. You can see their backs come out of the water on a lot of times. This water's up to 70 degrees now. And that's when those Corvina bite. There's also yellowfin croakers, some halibut, all kinds of other species. Surf fishing is great. So if the budget's a little bit uh, difficult, always come down and surf fish. It's a lot of fun and you should be doing it with the kids and the family. It is so much fun. Rick Fuentes, dear buddy of ours, out catching spotted bay bass, doing his thing with some tremendous fishing. No question about that. Don't forget also we've added the El Patron, which is booking fast. It's going, going bye-bye. That is going to be September the 15th. We'll be leaving from 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California at 6 a.m. coming back at 6 p.m. Could be a local trip, could be a tuna trip, could be a Dorado trip. We won't know until we get much closer to that date, but with this warm water, something tells me we'll be offshore on that trip. Not a for sure thing, but something tells me we'll be offshore. That should be a good one. Send me a text, we'll get you booked in, but it is going fast, so hurry up, you guys. 657-227-6459. All right, tonight, Sam De La Torre, Island Fishing Tackle, Tackle Shop, Confessions Live. That means you can send in your questions to Sam. Don't forget that uh, we'll also be watching this fight throughout the day for you. So we'll be keeping you up to date and in touch with all the very, very latest. All right, my friends, hope you are having a great day. Don't forget, like us, share these videos, subscribe to the channel, tick that bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Another great day here in SoCal. Thanks, everybody. Always a pleasure to spend time. Thanks for sending Sister Evelyn along to me this morning. She's a lovely person and doing great work. She teaches English as a second language ESL teacher uh, to for Catholic charity. So it was indeed uh, a bright spot in my morning, along with many other people and many other things going on. All right, have a great day. Get out and do some fishing. What an incredible year 2023 is. And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon. Take care, my friends.